Sometimes you give your phone to somebody grabs your phone and takes a picture of you that you thought would be fabulous, but it's a flop. You don't like it. You don't like the way you look. Well, in this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to clean it up, fix the things that you want fixed, and to blur the background to make it look like a pro photo. All right, let's go. All right, here's a picture of my wife and I on our wedding day, but there are a few things I don't like about the picture. That's why we can change it from flop to fabulous. First thing I'd like to do is remove the shine that's on our head and stuff. So what we'll do is we'll make a new layer, just call it shine. So let's zoom in and we're gonna grab the remove tool from over here. Make sure that it says sample all layers and remove after each stroke is unchecked. We want to do multiples of these. So let's use the crosshairs and kind of get rid of what we want. It's easy to use the crosshair and get exactly what you want. Now, zoom out. Let's hit enter. And the shine is gone. This tool is getting better and better all the time. Okay, so now let's zoom in again because I want to remove one more thing. And you can see there's some flyaways on us here. So let's make a new layer. Just call it hair flyaways. So I'm going to take the remove tool again. And I'm just going to cover what I don't want. A few of these flyaways. Zoom out. Enter. And they're gone. Wicked. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is put them in a group. And we'll just call it repairs. Let's make a stamp visible layer and turn off the first layers that we've created. Now I want to do the rest in Camera Raw. So what we'll do is we'll make it a smart object and we'll go into Camera Raw. Okay, now that we're in the Camera Raw, what I'm going to do is I want to go over here to the masks. So let's go masks and we're going to select people. We'll do my wife first here and we'll create every mask available just in case if you want to do something to specific parts now we'll do the same thing create a new mask select people and we'll choose me here and create the things that i want to do here i'll zoom in is i want to make my eyes stand out a little bit better so we'll scroll down to iris and pupil now what we can do so we'll go over to light and I'm going to make the exposure 0 0.25 and automatically it brings it up. I'm going to bring the highlights down just a touch and the shadows up a touch just for taste to see where we are. Now let's look at my eyes here. Before, after, before, after. Now they stand out a little bit. The next thing that I wanted to correct is my teeth. I want to use my 25 method here. So first, I'll do the exposure, 0 0.25. Highlights, minus 25. Shadows, 25. We'll go to color. Temperature on the blue, minus 25. And saturation, minus 25. Now, let's zoom in a bit here, and we'll check it out. Before, after, before, after the teeth are looking great well you can do that the same for anybody in the picture you can do and fix the things that you want to do we'll zoom out in this picture my shirt it was more of a darker gray and you could see that's got some red and some yellow in here so let's go to clothes and i want to go to color and i want to add just a bit of blue in there you can go minus 25 and all of a sudden, the shirt is more gray like it should be. There's a bit of magenta in there, too. So if you want to get picky, let's throw in a bit of green. Before, after. It looks more like the shirt that I was wearing that day. So anything in here can be fixed. Now, the thing that I want to do is I want to create a new mask. And I want to go select background. Now, let's hit the show the overlay. Anything that you don't want to be part of the background, hit subtract and grab a brush and just brush it away. That's not part of the background. We'll just make sure the background is the background. So we'll turn the overlay off. Now, what I want to do is we'll go to light. 
We'll take the exposure down to minus 0 0.25. We'll bring down the highlights, bring up the shadows a bit, but we want to bring down the blacks a bit. And in doing that, it makes us stand out more from the background, which is the focus of the photo. We're starting to look good. Now, the last thing I want to do, I'll show you how to, let's go back to your tools. I'll show you how to get professional lens blur going on. So let's go down to lens blur and hit apply. And bam, right away, we've got a great lens blur there. It created a great mask around us and we're sticking out from the picture like we should be. Now, if you want, grab the boost and make it up 100% and go through the bokeh. Maybe there's something cool that you like in there. That's the second one. Third. Fourth. And the fifth. I like the fifth. Now the background is blurred. My wife and I are standing out. And now we've got a great pick from that day. Fabulous. Well, with just a few things done to the picture, you can take it from the picture that you didn't quite like to a fabulous picture that you're proud to put into a frame now. If this video helped you at all, please like and subscribe. I'm done from Photo 911. See ya.